Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going to be a review and unboxing of the ZK Teco AL20B Smart Door Lock. It is a pretty cool lock that ZK Teco sent out for me to review and be able to show some of my first impressions on. This lock is a lock that you can open up several different ways. You can open it up with your fingerprint, you can open it up with the door code, your smartphone, and it even comes with a backup key just in case the system were ever to fail. This lock does a really great job at being able to track who has access to the door, and it is something that I'm looking forward to checking out in a few moments. So what I'd like to do now is get started with the unboxing. Alright, so let's get started with the unboxing. So I'm going to start giving some of my first impressions of this once we start to get it open. So we're just going to open up this little flap right here. And the first thing we see is the instruction manual, and this is going to be very helpful for installing it. Below is a little bit of an instruction guide so you can line up all the holes, especially if this is a fresh door that you're installing it on and you really need to make sure everything is perfect. You can see that this is the AL20B fingerprint lock with touch keypad version 1.0, and we're going to get some more info on this in a few minutes, but let's take a quick look at the lock itself so you can see that everything is very well put together in here and when we take a look you can see that this is going to be the side for the non-secured side you can see that it has the keypad on the top here it has a place for your fingerprint to be scanned and right over here is where the backup is for the key so you'll be able to use the provided Schleg key that they gave you so that you can get access if the system were ever to fail. And on the back here, you can see that it has this little data cord that will go through to connect to both sides. One thing you're going to need to note is that this lock does install like a regular doorknob lock. However, you're going to need to make one additional hole so that this piece will be able to get through the door and this piece as well. So far it feels like it's made out of some pretty solid material, a little plasticky right over here and here, but the metal feels relatively strong, but we'll see how it feels once we get it installed on the door. This is the battery compartment for the secured side to power the whole unit. And this is the lockout switch here if you want to make it so you can only get administrative access and lock out everyone else. So I am very excited to power this up, check out the app, and see how well it is going to work. A lot of the other stuff in here is just regular stuff for installing doors, and we'll get into more detail on that when we are actually installing this lock. I am very excited to see how well it works and be able to give my opinion on it. More info coming up on this in a few minutes. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this upstairs and I'm going to install it on one of my doors. I'm very excited to see how well it is going to perform and we're going to head up. Alright, so we now have the lock installed. It feels pretty solid on the door. What I'm going to do is go over some of the setup process that I had to go through. When I did install this door, I did have to make one additional hole so that the securing bit can go through and hold this all together. I looped the data cord going through where the spindle goes. When you read the instructions, it does recommend you make a third hole in the middle, but I really didn't want to put any extra holes in my door than I needed. I hope that will not be an issue but it is working very well. So what I have right here is the emergency backup key. This key is for if the mechanism were ever to fail, you'll have a means to get in. You're going to want to protect this key. You're not gonna want anyone to see the bidding so they will not be able to duplicate it. So when you turn the handle and you do not have it unlocked, the latch will not open. But when you do open the lock with the key or any of the other ways you can get in, the latch will open and you'll be able to get right in. So you're always going to want to protect the integrity of your key so no one will be able to see it. 
So when you're getting into this lock, there are several ways I've identified that we can use this to be very useful. One of them is on the app itself. So this connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you can open up the lock very easily off your phone. I'm just connecting to the lock right now. And then I'm going to have to log in as an administrator because I have not set up the ability to do that otherwise yet. Once you have it all set up, you just hit the green button. You'll hear the noise and the lock will open right up. The next way you can do is get in by fingerprint. And then you can get in by combination. You just type in your six digit pin code. Hit the pound key and you get right in. So this has worked pretty consistently very well for me. I have not had any issues with it. And I'm gonna go over some of the initial setup that I had to do in just a moment. So either way, the instruction booklet is very useful. It can go through many different things on how to do this. And you can really be able to set this up and customize it however you want. What I like about this is, is you can set up, you know, who has access. You can see, you know, what time people have come through. And you can get really as much information out of this as you're willing to play with it. For the price, I feel like it's a pretty cool little um, door lock that you can use and it is pretty intuitive to set up. So now what I'd like to do is just start to go over some of the concerns that I have for this lock. All right, so some of the concerns I have for this door is one that it only comes with the latch on it. So any door that comes with a latch, no fault of this, just in general, they are susceptible to someone being able to shim the latch. It is a, a skill that people can develop rather quickly. It can be pretty effective. A lot of the things that can make it a lot harder is if the door frame is you know, made correctly, it has a little lip on it, it can be make it really hard for someone to get back there to shim the latch. Another thing that is no fault of its own on this door is that it does take a backup key. I really like the idea of a backup key because things do fail, you know, regardless of how expensive and how nice it is, and it's always nice to have a mechanical backup. However, that does make the possibility that this could be a very, very secure system. No one would be able to hack into it. It could be state-of-the-art. But you could have a simple lock like this Schleg lock here and someone could just pick it very easily or someone could get a picture of the key and they could make a new key to it and no one would know and it'd be very easy. So that is my only concern is that security is only as strong as its weakest link and this does offer two weak areas where it could be shimmed very easily and it could be picked or bumped or raked relatively easily. And the other thing is, is that this door lock is not weatherproof. It is only recommended for indoors. So you're not gonna wanna put this on the door of your house. You're not gonna want this hitting the exterior. So if you're looking for a smart lock to put on the outside of your house, this will not be the product. But this would be a really great product for anyone looking for something industrial where if you want to lock a janitor's closet, maybe an office door, or anything on the inside, especially where you want to be able to see who's coming and who's going and give them strict access. So all in all, I feel that this lock feels pretty strong and I'm going to try it out for a few months and I'm going to leave it on the door and maybe I will be able to give a follow-up on this. But my first impression so far is I feel that the app is very intuitive. The instructions were very easy to get this lock put on the door and being able to get it set up. It has been a pretty cool process and I am very happy to have had the time to try it out and review it. So what I'm going to do right now, since this is a lock picking channel, I'm going to try to see how easily we can get into this lock in just a few moments. All right, so let's try to get this lock opened up. This is a little bit of an awkward angle to work on a lock, so it has that going for it.
And we're open. All right, so combination of single pin picking and raking. We're able to get this lock open rather quickly. Um, you can see that the latch is moving and you can see that we were able to get that turned relatively easily. But a couple things that I will say that this lock had going for it is one, getting the bump key in there this little lip here made it so that the way my bump key was installed, it was hitting the side, so I would have had to actually modify my bump key to get it in there. Bottom of the keyway tension was very difficult to get one to fit in well because of how recessed it was. So that's why initially I tried not to rake it. And also you can tell how awkward of an angle it is to get to for single pin picking and raking. So. All in all, if someone were trying to get into this lock when they weren't supposed to, this lock is very awkward to work on and it is not as easy as picking a lock sitting at home at your desk with the air conditioner on and just enjoying the nice cool air and having the lock in a vise. Real world picking is much different than picking in a lock lab setting. You never want to pick locks in use. This one did open up quite easily and that is something that I think ZK Teco could take into consideration going forward. However, this is no fault of their own because every lock that comes with a smart lock typically comes with a backup lock and this is no different than any other brand. So I am not trying to fault them on this. This is just an industry issue in general. But either way, guys, this has been my ZK Teco Smart Lock review. I have really enjoyed checking it out, and it has been a lot of fun to play with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for checking this out.